You stay with her, I'll be having some help. Yes, and please hurry up. David? David? Oh, hello. Anybody? Is there a doctor anywhere? It's not a doctor he wants, Audrey. It's acting lessons. I'm warning you, not now. Could you phone for an ambulance? But I saw exactly what happened. He went down in slow motion so he didn't bang his head. Oh, do you know, I wish I'd done first aid. Do you know any first aid? No, and even if I did. You really are a cold-hearted little so-and-so, aren't you? He's got to keep it a straight face, innit? I'll give him that. If you weren't here, I'd tickle him. Oh, shh. What happened? I don't know. He just fell over. David. Can't believe she's done it. Really, I can. And you're just going to sit there doing that like none of this matters? Well, unless anyone's got any better suggestions. You should have gone after her. Yep. If you cared about me or my family, you'd be on the way to the airport right now. You never suggested that. Well, I didn't think I'd have to. What would I do if I found her? Confiscate her passport? Oh, it's just flipping typical of you, is that? I'd never get through passport control anyway. I don't know why they do it in them romantic comedies, cos you'd never get through security. Is that all you're bothered about? Look, she has gone. She has gone because two weeks in the sun is a doddle compared to holding down a job and looking after a kid. Little ears, thank you. Well, if you're going to put me on the spot, then yeah, all right, I admit it. One or two weeks without her running wild sounds like bliss. Now, how many fingers? One. Poke him in the eye of it, then we'll see who he's fainted. Who's the Prime Minister? Well, the two of them. It's David Cameron. Well, David Cameron. It, well, it doesn't work if you give him the answers. I'm doing my best, OK. Oh, have you told them? Case postponed. Is Case right? postponed? Should this one even be talking to us, please? Oh, well, it's not through choice, believe me. Here they are. Oh. You needn't bother, it's on the night. Look, would you just go home? This is my grandson. Um, we think he's fainted. David, you'll never get away with it. They'll bung it on your sentence. At least she's acknowledging her misjudgment. I suppose she'll want some time off. You ain't sacking her. Eight pence for the tea. Yep. Yeah. And keep the change. What's this? She can owe it me, not thee. It is not your debt. It is now. I am not having you to out of pocket. Not when you were doing me a favour in the first place. Were we? By employing her. We weren't doing you a favour, Becky. We were doing Kylie a favour. Look. You can dress this up whatever way you want, but would you have given her a job if she wasn't my little sister? I don't remember you being anyone's little sister. Do you know you've got an answer for everything, you two, haven't you? Now, you are taking this money and you are putting it in that till. We are not. In the till, Roy, or the dog gets it. We don't want your money. Roy, Hayley, please, just take your money, put it in the till. Thank you. Let's face it. You don't have to make things difficult. He was about to go before the magistrates. I mean, he was standing right next to me. So I'm presuming you were anxious. Well, I've been accused of attempted murder. I've never been more anxious in my life. And have you ever blacked out before? Well, a couple of weeks ago, we were helping a mate move some boxes. And we'd all had a couple of cans. And then, next thing I know, I'm waking up. And how long do you think you were out for? Probably a few seconds, but I don't remember feeling tired beforehand. I do remember this weird feeling as though I was underwater with, with all the sound slowed down, and I had that again today. And do you know what? David was involved in a car accident. I had the exact same feeling when it happened. Th that was, that's the last thing I remember, just before coming round and seeing you. I didn't put those brakes on because I'd already passed out. There must be a connection there, shall I? Listen, this could be any number of things. Why what? Well, with the sensation you say you experienced, sound slowing down and so on, it's far too early to say without us running more tests, but it is possible you've been suffering from some form of epilepsy. Epilepsy? Well, I haven't got epilepsy. I've never had epilepsy in my life. Look, I better phone your mother. No, don't! And by the way, don't think we're giving Roy that money back because I know what you're like. Um, I never said that we were. It's her debt. She wants to go round robbing. She could suffer the consequences. I'm not giving Roy that money back, so you can relax, cos your precious wallet is safe. It's not about my precious wallet. Of course it is. She is not going to learn any responsibilities if we keep bailing her out. I wouldn't, would you? I'd just sit there laughing. Come in. Oh, hell, hello. Roy. Uh, come in, Roy. Don't be frightened. Uh, Liz, let me through. 
Well, sit down. No, no, come on, let's go through to the bar, because Stevie's doing his accounts. Uh, hang on, hang on. What's that? Well, I, I decided on reflection that I couldn't accept your very kind offer. What kind offer? Well, well the money. Oh, uh, what money is that, Royston? It's your sister's debt, and, and I think a better life lesson if she were encouraged to pay me back herself. Well, I really don't know what you're talking about here. But but you came round to the cafe not, not half an hour ago. Oh, I, I would have treated you just the same. Yes. I will get you that money back, though, Roy, I promise you. Well, we, we, we'll call it a loan for now, if, you, if you'll just speak to her, that is. I'm sure she'll put a call in at some point. Thank you. I'll leave you to your account. Yeah, I'm on my way. I'm just looking for the pencil. What was you? What was a gaffer? What do you need a pencil for? Uh, writing things down, making marks. Aha, uh -huh, I think I found one. Any lead in it? No, it's blunt. Treat yourself to a sharpener. You coughing up? Yeah, it's all there. Uh, hang on. What? You're counting it. I'm going to write you our receipt if you wait a second. No, it's fine. Just drop it around later. I'm not sliding here all day. Look, I know you've got a cob on, but what will I say to Owen? Things got a bit steamy, so I let her off. I got you that modelling job. Which I got paid for. Exactly. <laughs> Rosie, you're still not quite grasping it. Oh, I'm grasping it all right. You know that handbag that I've been dreaming of? I can't afford now because of you. Oh, get me a hanky. I think I'm going to cry. Don't forget my receipt. I won't. Well, I've never had epilepsy before in my life, but the doctor says it can just come on. Uh, how long will it take to get a proper diagnosis? I'll have to refer you to the neurologist, David, but I doubt they'll hang around. It's not life-threatening at all, is it? If it is epilepsy, they'll get you on some medication straight away. Could they drop the case? Well, we'd still have to go through the courts. But we are agreed that I could have passed out before I crashed the car. Listen, I don't know how that could be proved. That isn't my department. But there's definitely a pattern, though, isn't there? Well, that would be a silver lining, eh? This could be any number of things, remember? The neurologist will have to carry out a brain scan. Then he'll take it from there. Right. Well, if it proves my innocence, that's all I care about. But, David, medically speaking... No, Grant, forget that. Legally speaking. Legally speaking, it can't hurt. Well, there you go, then. I'll take that. I'm fine. Did it for Roy's sake, not Kylie's? God. She knows you're getting a kick out of this, you know. What? Being the sensible one for once in your life. I am not getting a kick out of any of this, Steve. What, watching my own sister abandon her son? You're getting to spend more time with him. I'm picking up the pieces. Oh, so you wouldn't mind if she walked through the door right now? I can't help it if I'm enjoying spending time with him. But I wouldn't leave your sister in charge of a remote control, Becky. I do want her to be a good mum, though. Well, it's not fair. Oh, no. We get turned down by the panel and flipping meanwhile... We've both had our moments in the past and we're paying for it now. There's no point whinging about it. Well, who wouldn't want to drop everything and fly off to Ironapa? <laughs> Why? Is that where you'd rather be? Look, I can't stand the way she's treating you. I can't stand the way she's treating Max, me mum, Roy. You name it, anyone she comes into contact with since she's walked through that door. She's a family, though, Steve. <sighs> Look, she is the one that took that money from our till the other week. You don't have to have a degree in economics to work that out. She swore me it wasn't her. I caught her with her hand in your handbag. You never said. She, she, um... She came on to me to try and keep it quiet. She came on to you? I am still a catch, you know. Oh, well, what did she do? She tried her best, OK? What did you do? Well, what do you think I did? Well, you've kept it quiet, like she asked you, so I, I, I'm really not too sure here. Look, I told her to stop what she was doing, and then I would pretend it never happened. Yeah? Liar. Look, do you really think I'd be so stupid? Oh, so stupid. So that's the only thing that stopped you, is it? Look, I never laid a finger on her. 
Because, amongst other things, I love my wife. Tempted, though, weren't you? No, I was not. Not even one little kiss. She is not my type. Oh, she's me! And I'm your type! If anything, she's the newer model. She's practically a child and she's my sister-in-law. And I'm sorry, do I have to say it out loud? I don't particularly like the girl. Well, that's a horrible thing to say about my sister. Look, I asked her to leave, OK? She threatened to take the lad with her. Forever. I was trying to protect her. Same reason why you lied about Roy's money. Little cow. Yeah, well, everyone's running round trying to protect her. No one else knows about this, then? Well, I might have mentioned it to Roy, but that's different. Are you bad? I nearly tried it myself once, fake fating. Did you? When? But it's really hard to do because you're that worried about smacking your head on the floor or the corner of a table. That, oh. oh, tell me this is a wind up. Oh, I've just come to explain it to you both. What is he doing here? <laughs> David, we're not fit. I might be epileptic. What? Do, do you remember the other day when I helped you shift them boxes? When you fell asleep? I'd passed out. Yeah, because you're a lightweight. Think about it. I'm not just going to fall asleep completely out the blue, am I? It comes on in stressful situations. Not like shifting boxes. But I've seen someone have a fit before and it was nothing like that. They were body popping and everything. There's different kinds of epilepsy. Are <gasps> oh, the expert. Look, I didn't slam on them brakes because I'd already blacked out. What, so you just happened to be driving in my direction when you suddenly had an epileptic fit? It's what I've been saying to you all along. I'm not going to try and kill you over some girl. I am some girl. Well, open your eyes. This explains everything. We're not having it. You are the motives to end all motives. Well, it might not be epilepsy. I mean, the scan in my brain, it could be anything. Like evil. Could they diagnose you with being evil? But it is something. And they're going to find out what it is. And when they do, it'll prove I'm innocent. They'll see through it like a window. Get well soon, mate. Good. Oh my god, Jason, I could kiss you all over. What's for you, Mum? <laughs> what? No, nah, I'm only joking, it's for you, really. Wait a minute. This is fake? Yeah, of course it's fake. Who in the right mind's gonna pay your grand for handbag? Why did you even bother? Rosie, I paid 16 oaks for that. Which, if you ask me, is still a ridiculous amount of money for an handbag. Anyway, you're no part for me and you, eh, babe? Do you, um, want to come in yet? Not no one can be as spiteful as family. You should hear the way Steve sometimes speaks to me. Probably knocked him up by now. What time was it you in call? Hours ago. And where my mum is, God only knows. Probably sat at home, refusing to pick up the phone. Debbie, will you stop staring? You're making it so obvious. No, I'm looking at the picture on the wall. That's David's mum. What the lad you just been on about? Mm. Anyway, what are you looking so sympathetic for? Well, for sentimental reasons. Oh, listen, tell Graham that. There's nothing sentimental about having a car driven at your full pelt, right? <clears throat> no, I bet. Well, I hate to say it, but I don't even think David can get away with it this time. Mm. It's going to be a long, long time before he comes walking through that door, don't tell you. David! Mother. I wonder where she is right now. She'll still be in the air, I expect. I wonder if she's thinking about him. I wonder if she's thinking about you. My mother with the kids. No, she's going up in a minute. She's busy sexting Owen. Oh, please. I know, multitasking, eh? She says she fancies going to Recky of it, or Berlin for nightlife. My mother clubbing in Berlin. I think Kylie's rubbing off on her. I think Owen's rubbing off on her. I wish you'd told me the truth, Steve. Why? Because I could have done something about it. I could have had it out with you. And then what would have happened? Just... 
I wish you'd take responsibility for once, instead of sitting there hoping it'd all go away. Uh, I've been doing the flipping accounts. It's not just this, is it? It's everything. I mean, it... have you changed that light bulb in the kitchen yet? I ate allergen spotlight. So I've got to sort that as well, have I? As well as what? I'm going to help your mum with the tea. You just do what you want. Well, you can help her with the sexting while you're at it. Unbelievable. So what? You saying he's going to get off scot-free? Well, I don't know about scot-free, but they think that it'll improve his chances tenfold. Tenfold? Mm. Tenfold. What, not eightfold or ninefold? Hmm. Well, I mean, he can't have faked it, can he? Not if he's been looked over by a dog. Is he really that wily? Who's wily? He is wily. You've got to give him that. Yeah, he'd like him, would Well, he'd like real life and haircut. Like yeah. Harry Potter style type yeah. thing. So, how long before we know for sure? Well, how long's a piece of string? Well, what if it isn't epilepsy? What if it's something worse? Well, look on the bright side. Look, I didn't mean to sound that. I'm just concerned about your health. And I'm concerned about my innocence. So am I, obviously. Anyway, I came to have a quiet drink with me, Grant, so if you won't mind. Thanks for dropping by. I'm back in a minute. Okay. All right, babe. Oh, all right. Mm. Listen, um, I'm not one to interfere, but if you think you've been unlucky in love until now, this guy's not going to improve things. When do you know him? I know his wife. He's married? He's separated. It's Cheryl's husband. She's got one black eye too many. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I just thought you should know what you're up against. No, oh, thanks. Kylie, as Nick to want her from the cafe, left us with Max and gone off to Iron Apple. Guess whose fault it is? I'm exhausted by even the thought of Iron Apple. And that guy, me, I'm exhausted by the thought of anything. Really. What's, uh, Jensen Button doing it. <clears throat> you think you've got good gossip? Listen to this. Not guilty. Not conscious. <laughs> Continue. No, come on, Rosie. You didn't land me a modelling job. That happened accidentally. Yeah, but you do agree. You wouldn't have got the job if it wasn't for me. But I wasn't even looking for it. I didn't even want it. And you wouldn't have got to kiss me. I didn't want that neither. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. All you've done is so compelled since we started all this. Right, have you brought the receipt? What, for the handbag? No, for the work. You said you were going to sharpen your pencil and bring over the receipt. Yeah, well, I forgot. I got too excited. About what? I mean, I thought you'd be chuffed. Yeah. No, no, it was, um, it was a really, really sweet gesture. Yeah, well, don't worry about it. Mm. And I'm, I am really sorry that I seemed disappointed. I should have known, you know, it wasn't real with your salary and... and yeah, exactly. I mean, we only slept together once. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, look, I better get off. I've got to go and see someone about a cement mix for the morning. Oh, um, what are you doing in the morning? I'm putting up a wall. On your own? Well, no, I've got a couple of brickies on the job, but I'm in charge of the mixer. Well, it's just, well, my mum and dad aren't back yet. And my sister's still out, so... <laughs> what do you want me to do? Beg? Well, yeah, I wouldn't mind. Well, is there somewhere else that you'd rather be? Um, I'm just wondering if there's enough time, you know. I've got to be at Juices before it closes. Are you really going to put some mixer? For me. No. Come on, let's look upstairs. Oh, so romantic. It's <laughs> a bit forward, yours or mine? Oh, um, Michelle's just phoned. Liam's throwing up everywhere. So... Wait, it'll be okay. Well, he's crying for me, so. You can blame him. I'm really sorry to have to bail on you. No, I hope he's alright. To be honest, if Russ is even poorly, I panic like mad. I'm designed to. <laughs> yeah, I'm terrible for it. Well, why don't you promise we can do this again? Oh, there's Michelle ringing again, so I'm gonna have to get it. I don't know, it ring. Yeah, it's been on silent. See you later. Let me sit with you. Just for one drink. I feel foolish stood over there on my own. Do you know what, though, Mum? A flicker of doubt. That's all it was. One tiny little flicker of doubt. 
Unconditional love is supposed yes, to work the other. Yes, I know that, ma'am. I love you so much, David. It's too late. No, it's not. We'll clear your name. And if you're ill, we'll make you better. When it mattered, Gail, you weren't there for me. Oh, David, don't go. She never had a flicker of doubt, and if she did, she kept it to herself. Thanks for the all upbringing thing, Mum, but it's time to call it a day. It's over. You're being absurd. And this time, it isn't me. It's most definitely you. Viewers may like to know that Coronation Street Golden Anniversary and Stars of the Street box sets are available now on DVD.